hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm back here again and today we just gonna be creating a beautiful nice look i wanted to do this tutorial like um me doing makeup tutorial in pigeon english but i just feel you know what i want to feel good not just feeling good i just want like i'm doing some nice high look it's a nice bit face you know what I'm just gonna do a transformation for you guys okay and enjoy the video so first I'm gonna prime my face it's like I'm just forgetting like things I'm doing like what do i need to do prime so i'm not gonna put too much of the primer so that's how i'm gonna do in terms of priming my face around this area this area this area i'm just gonna ignore the rest part of it again we're gonna use beauty blender for blending um, i'm gonna use two not two face i'm using juvie's place at this barber foundation stick for my foundation i'm just coming from cinema so yeah look at me i can't even get up again i wanted to contour i want to contour anyway i'm gonna blend it out I'm gonna be starting something. You got to be starting something. I'm gonna be starting something. You got to be starting something. Ooh. Ooh. You gotta get over, yeah, yeah. Get up, get under, yeah, yeah. I'm stuck in the middle. I don't know what I'm thinking. Oh my god. I'm pale. I'm so pale. Oh yes, guys. I forget to tell you. I got my COVID-19 vaccine today. I don't know what vaccine I was given. I just went into my GP and was like asking questions. Will this affect this if I'm going to do? The doctor was so quick and fast. It was like, no, it's not going to affect it. The next thing, boom, a needle right here. He didn't even tell me, okay, I'm going to give you this vaccine, Pfizer vaccine or whatever. It just... Boom, put put a freaking needle there and I was like, okay, wait outside. I waited outside for like 10 minutes. Like no one's come to meet me. No one's telling me anything. I left. So yeah, I've taken my COVID-19 vaccine. First dose. You know what? I've got that out of the way. Alright. I'm so like white. I need to contour to bring the skin back. Guys, I am not going to do too much. Seems like I'm going to be forced to contour. I'm going to use brush for that. Let me see my skin. This is the first layer. I'm not really full coverage. And you expect me to create a nice look for this? See? I'm pale. You know what? I'm going to take this off. So, let me do one second coat. Of course, if I'm going out. I will do this properly of course that was light coverage now I think we're gonna end up with medium coverage or you know maybe it's because it's beauty blender maybe that's why it's not giving that full coverage but you know we move oh I have been locked out of social media for the past 48 hours of 24 hours that like, I don't know what's going on. I know that that baby situation with this carnival thing, like people or concert, they just canceling the baby left, right, center. That is not fair. Manga an opinion and let that be. Do not push the narrative to people. Of course, I know what he said was offensive, naive, ignorant, but that's people. That is human. You can't change that in human. We all make mistakes. By the end of the day, it didn't, it didn't kill nobody. Serial killers are not treated that way. 
Ooh, I don't know where I'm here. Contour with Juvis Places Wear in shade Zambio. Okay. I'm gonna contour like that. Ooh. I saw this video that this lady contour her mouth. Hmm. But you know what? I'm gonna do that in another video. Oh, that nose does a look. <laughs> we got a little bit mustache. So I'm gonna use brush to actually blend this out. You know, I could have contoured first and then blend it out and then foundation on top. But now I'm doing like in a reverse and I'm like, okay, should I go on with one more coat to make me like full coverage? You know? Ooh. I like it. I like this area kind of contour. It's nice. <laughs> Ooh. Yes. With the miser, the miser. Oh, yes, the kisses bring it back life to my face. Going back with my beauty blender to just like balance it in balance it's all about balance now is to you know you know conceal You may surprise like, oh, why is she not putting her forehead? Why is she not putting under her chin? You know what? I just feel like I don't want to waste any product. If I can blend my under eye, <coughs> excuse me, whatever's left on the beauty blender, we take it up here and take it up here, pull it today. Oh, oh. Oh yes, I used um, Juvia's Place concealer in number 12, my favourite, favourite concealer from the Juvia's Place, perfect shade and that. And then we can blend under the contour, yeah, nicely. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Blend the nose as well, even if we kind of like covering our contour. And then whatever is left, take it to the forehead. To the forehead. I'm done that in 10 freaking minutes. What should I do? Now, big set. You know, I can just just want to live my life like this. What do you think? Everything creamy, right? Let's try creamy products for once. I don't know. I'm a bit confused there because I like I'm kind of stuck. Like, I don't know what want to do. Okay, let's bake. Let's bake for crying sake. Let's bake. Let's bake. Oh yes. Oh yes. And yes. Oh. Oh. This is all we're gonna do. Like literally, all we're gonna do. 
nothing much and let's take off the powder let's take off any excess powder off and use it to set the face Ooh. I'm gonna be using this fake bronzer not really fake but it's not acting like a bronzer from revolution makeup or makeup revolution if that is the word just swipe across bronzer swipe across contour swipe upwards kind of like um blush Wipe across. Do we have to bronze our jaw? Swipe across. Ooh. Swipe across. Don't forget to swipe across. Cozy yo, cozy yo. Are we my hero? Cause any mirror. Mm hmm. I, I like, I like what I'm saying. So, our blush, what blush, what, what blush should we go for? Because I have the other blush with me. Oh, okay. I don't have. My other palette on me, I can't get up to go and get it, and I'm tired of kind of wearing pink blush. So I'm gonna try this purple blush from the Jackie Aina X. You know what? It's an eyeshadow, so I'm gonna use it as blush carefully. Look at that! Look at that purple. Mm. Oh, for fuck's sake. I'm sorry I had to swear because that is not even I forgot that the eyeshadow from the Anastasia Beverly is like what's that word again oxidized kind of eyeshadow so the color is very bright when you put it on your skin it looks very dull and I just use my brush to get a pigment and it's it's dark it's dark no no blush you know what I am gonna go for the pink I am gonna go for the pink I'm gonna go for this tie yes go back again Mm hmm let's all look like clown together you get me yes hi my name is Jezebel nice to meet you <laughs> do you like my blush of course that's wonderful isn't it <sighs> I'm blushing you making me blush? Gosh. <laughs> I like it. Who are you? Who am I? <laughs> okay. Stop. Time to do the highbrows. <laughs> so I'm gonna brush my highbrows up and out. You know what? This is what we're going for, like. Look at this pink vibe. Oh, I made a pink chick. Everything pink. Okay, um, I'll be using my Cabral Homemade in number five from Benefit Cosmetics. And it's so sad that this um bra pomade is, is discontinued. Like this is what I like. This is my favorite. Look at how thick that bra is. Look at how thick that is. Okay, let me let me be focused before I make a mistake. 
yes I can this one I can create it to be feathered you know but it's looking thick and bold that's the old boy oh see talking getting distracted uh-huh you like it that is the old point that's the old vibes oh I want to say thank you guys for my last video um for your comments your kind words your encouragement that is what i'm getting to do this video for you guys you know just to put a smile on your face and that and then we clean up this brow with our with a concealer so i'm going to be using the nc45 from mac like mini pot concealer to clean this brow this beauty this beauty and i start from here from the middle section treat a nice line of the eyebrows and bring the asses to the front slightly uh -oh. i'm moving my hands a bit and then cut these a zai and that's how you get you clean the fine brows anyway you go ahead and blend your eyelid eyeshadow concealer or eyelid concealer so that it's a smooth surface if you want to apply an eyeshadow see you already know the drift like i don't know why we have to go through the process again again and then we're not gonna finish without applying our primer eyelid primer and this is the favorite from p louise i'm using number five shade shade okay and give it a good a nice blend oh uh, yes make sure you blend carefully so you don't over blend your eyes and it goes to your dry powder surface area mm. yes perfect so for the eyeshadow we're going to be using today i'm going to be using juvia's place um the blush rose eyeshadow palette you know what in the beginning of this video i wasn't intending to like create and I should look or use Juvia's Place, but it seems like this video is kind of like dedicated to Juvia's Place. Mm -hmm. So first thing what I did was, I'm not sure the blush has got names. So this is how the blush rose collection looks like. I'm going to apply this all over my lid. Yes, all over here. I'm going to apply that too. No, sorry. Was it was this one I picked? Yeah. All over the lid fill that lid up and when you feel that lid is filled up I'm gonna take this shadow and blend above the the lid like the crease area just like a blend crease area up to the brows yes and once we are satisfied with that color combination on the lid we want to go over to the brownish shade here like a little more shade and just kind of like separate the lid like in a deep crease area over there you see when you look that deep socket eye socket there oh yes you want to concentrate the shade in there kind of like give you like a bridge a bridge to the to the eyelid like oh look at my eyelid it's popping it's popping it's oh look at that that is beautiful beautiful why am i whispering it's just me home and i'm whispering it's gonna give the pink a bit of a shadow effect and go back to the other one to blend above that little brown 
or just use a clean brush to just feather it and blend out and go back to your pink and place on your highlight. Voila. So, to spoil these highs, I feel like I'm not gonna do with her not spoiling these highs. <laughs> That's not me with her me not spoiling my makeup today. So I'm just gonna go on top with this shimmer. I'm just gonna give it a bit of shimmer, shimmer queen, shimmer moment. So instead we can just place that shimmer on the inner corner of the highs to give it like a shine, shiny, shiny moment. So when you look and open your eyes, you see pink. Mm. I used to do this back in the day. Like after your shadow, you put a highlight in here to pop out your eyeshadow to give it a bit of color. Like I used to do that. Mm -hmm. Seems like Juvia's place has a lot of pink eyeshadow palette i don't know why like that brand just love anything pink like seriously and if you feel like you can bring your shadow right underneath the high personally i i don't really do that i know it looks it makes the look it complements the look but i don't know why i don't do that like i just feel like is wasting my time like my under high is going to be colored and i don't want colored for this look, we're not going to be wearing no um, highlight, enough of highlight, like literally enough of highlight. Sometimes I like just take the old look, cancel everything out and stuff. Do we need to line? I feel like liner, I'm done with liner for the past couple of two videos. Like, mm -mm. I'm not in the liner mood, so mascara. Should I put and what should i do should i put a lashes eyelashes not really not really we don't need that no it's just wear mascara in yes we don't need that of course lashes would that be like cute cutely sometimes you need to promote your natural lash stop telling People, they should be comfortable with fake lashes to complement the look. It's not always that. Sometimes you just want to be all natural, even if you know you put it something else. But you know, sometimes I'm, I'm lashes is too overrated, like period. And then the glue gets stuck in your lash line, and then you take it off. It's still there, and the morning it will look as if there's powder in your lashes. Like no, like I do it there and there on my videos when I'm going out. I wear lashes sometimes but not every day not every look look at if i were to do these lashes properly with a lash primer give a bit full coat my lashes will be like like this like this you can see it's very dark it breaks out my hair imagine i go with a black liner in my waterline oh and i smoke it out mm, you're finished yes you're finished our lipstick you know what we're gonna be pinky i'm gonna use this for my lipstick from beauty bay beauty bay yeah and this is called petto petters yes look at the pink it's a glass pigment glass so i'm gonna pack a lot of petto on my lips Ha, 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 ha. Ooh. not so bad for this um combination this look oh, it's freaky the next day overdraft or bank clothes already taking your money so i can move some cash Of course, the more um, gloss I apply on, the more pigmented it becomes and sometimes it's just too glossy for me and then you get some stuff coming out in each corner. 
and then we finish the look by spraying the face because we're not wearing no freaking um lashes no highlights just pink mm. i hate i feel like taking a shower again seems like me spraying my face Look at all my chest area is full. Like I'm not wearing makeup here. Why do I have to feel there? Why? And the spray I use is Mario Bida Soup Bida Scoop Bida Bida Soup Mario Bida School Skincare. <laughs> so guys, you know, there's not much transformation in this. So that's it, guys. This is the finished look of how uh, I don't know what to call it. You know what? I'm just gonna give Juvis Place the blush palette rose review, eyeshadow palette review. I don't really feel this video is like a palette review. It's more like just a tutorial. Just let's see where we get up to and the pink collection or the pink vibe or <sighs> I don't know. But anyway, if you made it to this end or if you made it to the end of this video and you're here, thank you guys very much. I love you. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you are new, you're welcome and you're blessed. Please subscribe before you go. Come on, happy girl. Subscribe. Give it a, a thumbs up. If you love this video, please share. Please leave your comment below. Let me know what you think. Did I do well? Look how I love this. My apple, apple chick. And it gives me some nice attitude don't try me don't test me and yeah don't forget to click on that notification bell icon on today i'm gonna see my next video so take care of yourself and be nice to all that if you don't love yourself well <laughs>